Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the tiny nation of Estonia, where today the plan is to unite with Finland and do this focus tree. <laughs> Funny thing about a focus tree, we need to have at least 40 support for websites, and it goes by 0 0.01 per day. <laughs> oh my lordy, I just realized I'm such a dumbass. <laughs> Since I have realized I don't have to actually wait for the support that much and I can just do the march thingies, I'm gonna go for the march in Tallinn with a 77% chance of us actually doing it, you know? Yay, we got the thingy we wanted without the uh, civil war, let's go. Now it's all about uniting with Finland. Get your marching boots on because we're going on a march through Finland. Since we have done enough marching, it's time to do it on Helsinki and, well, unify with Finland soon enough. Oh no, Finland became the no-no word. <laughs> now it's time for us to unite with them. Is this a Finno-Estonian union? I think it is. Now let's liberate the rest of the Baltics. Now that we have proclaimed Estonian Finnish confederation, it's time to unite the Sami people. Just Attack Sweden and Norway, really. Actually, before I do this, I am search researching transport ships, so let me do another focus first, and then we're gonna do that. We will unite the Sami people now, since I think the time is right. Now that we have the war goal, let's ask Germany if they allow us to join the Axis. And now we declare war on Sweden and on Norway. <laughs> We have gotten a bit of a landing, but sadly not all of our forces were able to go with us, so we still need to wait for two more divisions to land. If we encircle Stockholm, that should be two Swedish divisions gone, and us having a port, so that's always a good thing, isn't it? Yes, we have secured Stockholm, the war has been basically won at this point. Let's encircle the only tanks the Swedes have. <laughs> Whew, we have won the war. The Germans are arriving to save us. I will try a mad dash to Malmo and maybe Göteborg, but I doubt they will work. Damn, I was actually able to take it now. I'll also start the offensive against Norway a bit, but we'll see how it goes. I will try to just encircle all the Norwegian troops in the north, cut them off here, and that should be their entire army pretty much gone. As some kids say, that should be it for them. Actually, no. <laughs> the plan now is just to Take the north. I don't even care about anything anymore. No fancy encirclements, no nothing. Just take everybody out of the war. I'm just gonna walk to Bergen and just end the war, hopefully. I doubt it will, but I can hope, okay? Hey, Sweden is about to capitulate any minute now. Any minute now. Please do actually capitulate, though, Sweden. With the peace deal concluded, you can see that I have taken the north of Sweden and, well, established a... Uh, little puppet state in the middle. I'm just gonna rush for the Norwegian victory points and then, well, the war should end. Yay, Norway capitulated too, so let's just take a few of their provinces and then, well, puppet the rest. Now that we have united the Baltics, well, pretty much united the Baltics. Also, I left Norway in Jan Mayan. Why? I don't know. Wait, what on earth is this? Germany declared war on Luxembourg and that's why they're at war with the Allies. Okay, I have a plan where we can get more manpower, but it's not the best plan, but we can do it. Wait, if I declare war on Lithuania, Poland gets involved? Bruh. Wait, what? Latvia becomes a so... The timing. <laughs> oh no, the Soviets are demanding stuff, so I guess we'll have to go to war with them. Guys, don't worry. Germany is coming after Norway, or <laughs> what's left of that own Jan Mayen. Germany has won the war in Europe, so we'll have to focus on the Soviets soon enough. The Soviets are justifying on us, which isn't a that good news, but it's not that bad then again, like... Our forts are pretty high level, so... yeah. Hold up, it wasn't on me, it was on Romania. That's a plot twist. Haha, <laughs> to expect... That they will declare war on us, but no, we will declare war on them. Sadly, the Soviets got to declare war on us, not us and the Soviets. So far, we're actually defending pretty well, I would say. 
the plan right now is for the Soviets to waste a lot of their manpower on us and then call our allies in so they can just steamroll them really. Our soldiers are still holding the line, which I'm happy about, and we have inflicted an okay amount of casualties on the Soviets, but we will see how it goes. I will try to make a small offensive to take Murmansk so I can absolutely cut them off at Karelia? Okay, thanks to the Soviets invasion, Soviet invasions, I will call my allies soon now. Oh, this is a beautiful Barbarossa, as you can tell. I will go on the offensive now against the Soviets in the north and I'll just wait for my allies to deal with the, the Eastern Front, I guess. I did believe if we... oh, never mind, I wanted to say if we take this supply hub, the Soviet Front will just collapse there, but nah. I will try to push to the re this river. I forgot... I, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but let's hope we can actually push the Soviets to, so we can ha have a better position to hold from. Oh, we can encircle the Soviets in Riga. That would be cool. Yeah, we did it. Let's go. I guess you won't use the great opportunity of just... Actually, I'll use it. Screw it. We're just focusing on closing this little pocket at Riga. We have been able to defeat them in the Baltics. Now it's just about defeating them everywhere else. I think that will be all the pushing we'll do since our manpower isn't looking too groovy right now, but... At least we did enough damage to the Soviets, I hope. It was the Estonians and the Finnish who took the... <laughs> who took Sevastopol, not the Germans. We will push to try and take Moscow with the Germans, but we'll see how it goes. At least we're about to take Leningrad, so that's good. We're just at the gates of Moscow and for some reason our front <laughs> narrowed down just to this little tile. Okay, we are making good advances in the Caucasus, so we the battle for Moscow is still ongoing. I think nothing will come of it in for a bit, but we'll see. We're making great progress in the Eastern Front. <laughs> Meanwhile, Italy. <laughs> you guys remember how I was talking about us not taking Moscow? Well, I take my words back. The push into the Soviet Union is going well. Now we just need to finish them off. They still have a few factories left. Well, a good amount of them, and yeah, hopefully we get them to capitulate soon. They are getting there slowly, but still. The plan is to do a massive encirclement of the Soviets now, and if we actually do it, that's like 50 divisions gone. Okay, we'll actually encircle these divisions here, so that should turn the tide of the war fully and well, pretty much end it. I have pulled my troops back, just to let them recuperate a bit. Get the equipment back since we are in quite a deficit and hopefully our soldiers will just, <clears throat> not our soldiers, our allies will just defend the front well. Since we have built a few supply hubs, I will try to push to Gorky and take this other supply hub from the Soviets, but we'll see how it goes. We are advancing little by little, which is better than nothing. But in the meantime, I am preparing to make a collaboration government, so that should end the war pretty quickly. I'm doing the collaboration government, well, we're preparing for that. And if we get lucky, just a bit of luck, we'll do it. 5th of September, mark that date, it's gonna be when we win. So the Soviets should capitulate now, since we do have a... Oh, never mind. I guess I did it wrong. <laughs> Oh, finishing off the Soviet Union is always oh so annoying. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably just go AFK for a bit and let the Soviets and the Germans knock it out. The Axis is still somewhat keeping control of the situation, but not really, but kinda yeah, but who knows. <laughs> oh no, Italy fell into a civil war. Now that we have built a few supply hubs, the Germans have gone on the offensive once more and I hope this will be the final push, but 9% is still a lot when it comes to the Soviet Union. Oh no, I think it's over for us. The Soviets just annexed Tanutuva. If we get lucky, this could be the end of the war, since the Germans did somehow encircle 20 division up there and around 20 here, so we should be good. Hopefully we'll be able to push through the Urals and just take the last few victory points. 
to capitulate the Soviets. Just one more percent and it's over. It's all about Sverlidosk. I can't believe it. It's finally over. Oh my lord, and now it's time to just take the northernmost part of the Soviet Union. And just like this, we have a mighty Estonian Finnish League. Now one thing that I will do now is unify the Baltics for a few extra, what you might call it, manpower. And now it's all about increasing compliance so we can do the ugro Finnic Empire. The only thing remaining now is just getting a few more spies so they will root out resistance in key areas so that our compliance may go up. I have used the what you might call civilian oversight so that compliance increases faster but let's hope for the best. Just an interesting development. <laughs> India got their freedom and Pakistan broke free and joined the Axis. Guys, I'm happy to announce we will finally unite the Finnic identity. And there you have it. The Empire of Fino Ugria has been proclaimed. So yeah, I'll end the video here. I hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you had fun watching it. Otherwise, I wish you a very nice rest of your day. And until next time. Bye bye.